Greetings everyone and welcome back. Here's something loud and musical. Similar to a traditional Walkman, a WalkPy is an audio player setup that plays audio files stored on the SD card by pairing a Raspberry Pi Pico with the DF Mini player. It has an SSD 1306 OLED screen, an interactive menu with various buttons for selecting tracks, volume control and additional functions. The Raspberry Pi Pico, the project's brain is linked to the DF Mini player, a compact inexpensive MP3 module that has a simplified output directly to the speaker. We may choose and play tracks with the help of an OLED screen and few push buttons that are attached to Pico's IO pins. As the DF Mini has an internal amplifier chip that can connect a speaker to, we are utilizing a 3 ohm speaker directly attached to the speaker input pin of the DF player. The star of this project is the DF Mini player, which is a mini MP3 player module that is based around a 24-bit DAC IC along with an onboard SD card reader that fully supports the FAT16 and FAT32 file system. This module supports a variety of control modes, I.O. control mode, serial mode, AD button control mode, etc. Meaning, the user can use this board as a standalone device or use an external microcontroller to drive the module. We could have used bare bone setup, which only require few push buttons to be added to few of the modules I.O. pin, if our application was limited to playing tracks and shuffle. However, we need a display with a proper menu that allow us to select songs. So we used a Pico and pair its TX and RX pin with the TX and RX pin of the module. We use a Pico in conjunction with the DF player. Pico uses the UART pins to operate DF player and the OLED display the music details and menu. As for sorting this audio module, we got it from PCBWay's gift shop. PCBWay gift shop is an online marketplace where we can get variety of electronics module and board for their genuine price or you could use PCBWay currency which is called beans. You get beans after ordering something from PCBWay as reward points or you can also get them by posting any project in the PCBWay community. Also PCBWay is hosting its 7th project design contest a global competition that invites electronics enthusiasts, engineers and makers to showcase their innovative projects. The contest provides a platform for participants to share their creative and technical expertise with the broader community. With prizes awarded for most exceptional design, the contest aims to inspire and support innovation, making it an exciting opportunity for both professionals and hobbies to gain recognition and connect with like-minded creators. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. First, we combined the Pico, DF player, buttons, OLED and the speaker by joining them together according to this wiring diagram. Now here's a test board that we built previously and it contains a lot of buttons which will be utilized in this project. The ground port on each buttons are linked to one another and will be connected to Pico's ground. Here's the sketch that we use in this project and it's a simple one. This code implement a basic user interface for an audio player that can navigate through a list of songs, played the selected song, adjust volume and display basic visualization during playback. The OLED display is used for displaying song titles and volume levels, while the button allow user interaction with the DF player mini module for controlling music playback. Make sure you install all the libraries needed for this code before using the sketch. Also in the SD card, you need to change the name of songs to song 1, song 2, etc. which matches the array in the code. This extremely basic build culminated in a working audio player that can play music that is stored on the SD card. We can select the song we wish to listen and control the volume with buttons. Three songs that we added to SD card are now read by the DF player and outputted through the 3 ohm speaker. 
the speaker in this instant is being powered straightly from DF player. An amplifier can be connected to the output of DF player if we wish for creating a louder setup. There is a lot of space for improvement when it's come to the menu. Additionally, we can add a visualizer or such graphics to display while the song is playing. Additionally, two more buttons are required so the user can rewind or fast forward the song. For now, this arrangement seems to be working really nicely. We will now be getting ready for building a device like Walkman, which will be composed of both 3D printed parts and PCB elements. In order to pair it with the audio player, it will also have a tiny built-in speaker and a 3.5mm audio jack. Stay tuned for the upcoming update, which will have some graphical modification and few tweaks to the menu's user interface and more buttons. In addition, we would appreciate PCB Wave support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.